uh, welcome and greetings to your journey into learning python programming today is a very 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 important topic if else if and else before i explain what is if else if and else i want to give you some common examples in our routine day to day life in our day to day life we see so many times since that if you are doing some task then you get this if you are not doing this then you don't get this like one example if you get a more than 35 marks then you pass if you have a less than 35 marks then you fail it is a condition you have to greater than 35 marks the same things happen if i want to apply for the driving license the age is 18 so we say like that if the age is greater than 18 then you get the license else you don't get the license the same things if we want to apply in our programming language how can we do this we use else if elif this three is a command this three is a statement if else if, and else okay so start with the very basic command here i write a very very simple question it's very simple formula no greater than 0 now my no value is 3 what happened 3 greater than 0 yes we used this in our previous session one more time i want to use and show you t greater than 0 the answer is just wait a moment yes the answer is true the same things we apply with if okay before this condition i apply if if and then condition and in the last column sign this is the syntax if condition and the in the last column sign if no greater than 0 to we say yes 3 is greater than 0 it's this statement written true this statement written true this statement answer is true yes because of this is true if go inside and in inside you can see here i just use a tab key and then i write my statement print no is positive let's execute and check p is a positive let me change the number no output why no output because this condition is false let's check it false okay so that is the only condition if your condition statement returns true then and then only it's print if i show you one more example no is equal to 10 and if i say if no greater than 100 then i want to print number greater than 100 so let's execute run no output why because number is less than 100 number is greater than 100 why it's execute because now 105 is greater than 100 if the statement is true only in that case it's go inside and you can see that i write like this print statement not exactly below we press tab key okay be careful python is very strict in indexing so whatever statement you want to print suppose i want to print k it's work see to so all the statements whatever i want to write in my if statement i have to maintain the index if is here in the very beginning and then every statement whatever i want to write in my if statement i keep in the index press tab and then write a statement okay now let's move to the next one here i add else okay the what happened here if condition true then it's go inside but if condition false then what happen here is nothing okay in this case if my value is less than 100 then nothing is happen no message display it's blank okay no output so now i want to use else if condition true i want to do this else i want to do this that means if condition is true i want to print number is positive else the number is negative so it's a very simple command i am giving here a positive value 5 
and click on the run so no is greater than 5 yes so that means 5 is positive but if i add minus sign here now the condition is false minus 5 is not greater than 0 so what happened it's moved to the else statement okay and inside else i mentioned that print number is negative so minus 5 is negative okay let's use this uh, let's understand more this if else in one more example we asking user uh, input okay now we know very well what input do why we use integer so we ask users give a two number it's stored in number one and number two and we check that if number one is greater than number two if yes then we print number one is greater than number two else number two is greater than number one so basically this is program is check which number is greater one or two let's run and execute so 12 and 34 so of course number two is bigger the message is the correct number two is greater than number one let's check condition one more time yes number one 12 number two 34 12 is not greater than 34 so that's why it's go into l statement and print number two is greater than number one okay it's easy now let's move to the next one here we can see it's one more alley it is a new thing right let me explain what happened it's check multiple condition that means it's a hierarchy nested if okay if first condition is true then go inside and do the task perform the task if this condition is not true then it's come to the next condition if this condition not true then it's come to the next okay i show you what happened here number one is greater than number two number two is greater than number one but what happened in this case where the both number are same okay here we see that okay what happened if the both number are same we don't mention here any condition to check whether both number are same or not so i have a two condition to check whether first they are same if the both number are not same then i check number one is greater than is number two no number one is not greater than number two then it's very obvious then number two is greater than number zero so what happened if these two condition is false then it's more to the else part if any one condition is true then it's follow particular statement let's execute and run with the example and check with the example first i check both value is same the output is both are the same why because this condition is true it's go inside if execute this statement and come out okay and i want to add here one more statement print end okay let's run again both value is same both are same and program is end run now this time i want to add first value is bigger second value is smaller so now this statement is false this condition is false but number one is greater than number two it's correct okay here is my printing mistake sorry so here in this case number one is bigger than number two so number one is greater than number two now add second value bigger then answer number two is greater than number one the syntax is very simple if i know comparison operator number two if again be careful about the index if else if l is it stay in the same line all the portions means all the statement inside the if inside the l if it's maintain this tab keep maintaining this tab okay so now if in next condition we are not using if one more time we use keyword elif okay we use keyword elif we will so we will learn if multiple times in our this uh, series so just you just keep your mind in first statement only we use if in second time we are not using if we write elif okay then only we say nested if hierarchy of if statement okay now and if these both two conditions are false then automatically it's move to the else part because here is no condition okay this is with condition elif 
ओके एंड कंडीशन इफ दिस कंडीशन ट्रू ओनली एंड ओनली दैट केस इट्स गो इन साइड एंड प्रिंट नंबर वन इज ग्रेटर देन नंबर टू ना हियर आई यूज वन मोर एग्जाम्पल ओके टू अंडरस्टैंड मोर आई लिव इन द डिटेल्स वी आस्किंग यूजर एंटर नंबर ओके इट्स अ वीक डे प्रोग्राम यूजर एंटर एनी डे वन टू थ्री फोर फाइव एंड वी स्टार्ट आर वीक विद संडे एंड इफ इट्स एंटर वन आई वॉन्ट इट्स संडे इफ एंटर टू देन आई प्रिंट मंडे एंड इफ यूजर एंटर रादर देन वन टू सेवन आई से इन वैलिड नंबर ओके आई वॉन्ट टू प्रिंट इन वैलिड नंबर लेट्स रन फर्स्ट एंड चेक दउटपुट If three, that means Tuesday. Run one more time. Day one, that means Sunday. Let's enter not between one to seven. Invalid number. Okay, it is perfect program. Okay, with the validation. So what we do? If number one equal equal one, print Sunday. Okay. Next condition. If n o equal equal to print monday exactly the same things i am writing elif 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 seven times okay and if not any condition match among these if not any condition match then it's automatically move in the else and print invalid number then it's print invalid number okay here i am i am using one more simple statement and it's a very common example in if else okay um Check where the number is even or odd. And in mathematical first, we understand that how can we know that number is even or odd? So normally, what we do, we just divide by the number and we check the remainder. If the last one remainder is zero, we say yes, number is positive. Ah, uh, sorry, number is even. Okay, we see here twelve divided by two. Let's see zero because twelve is a even number. And let's say thirteen. Okay, so it is a common practice to find where the number is odd or even. I am applying the same condition here. I know we ask user enter number. Suppose user enter thirteen. The formula is thirteen divided by thirteen modulus by two. And if this equation written is zero, if the equation written is zero, we say number is even. And if this equation not written in the zero, when the case is odd, when the number is odd. We it's go to the else part and print number is odd. Okay, let's run and check. It's even number, even number, and now it's time to enter odd number. Okay, the number is odd. So don't forget it is a module sign. Okay, percentage sign normally in mathematical language we say, but it's written the, uh, it's written the remainder. And if I'm using divide sign, it's Okay, so it's a divisible by. Okay, okay, so both are different. Now, here, of course, we remember. Okay, if we don't remember and and or, I want to give you the quick revision and and or. Okay, in and condition, the both side. Okay, both condition must be true. Then only in that case and return a true. Okay, I give you the example. Three greater than five and six greater than ten. So both condition is false. Not a three greater than five and not a six greater than ten. Okay. Now change the condition. Yes, thirty greater than five, sixty greater than ten. Yes, it's written true. Okay. And one more example we share. Okay. First condition. This condition is true, but this condition is false. So, what is the output? False. Why? Because in and when both condition are true, we can say like that. We can add here more and more condition. Okay. If every condition is true, then and then only it's written a true. Let's say in the condition. Now all the condition are true. Thirty greater than five, sixty greater than ten, one equal to one. That is the reason it's written the true, okay. And we use the same mechanism, same methods in our if condition, okay. If this statement returns a true, then it's go inside the if. If this statement return a false, it's move forward. One more condition: if this statement return a true, 
it's go inside print if this statement return a false it's move forward one more condition if it's true go inside execute this statement if this condition is false it's again move to the next one if this condition is true it's go inside and print this statement if this condition is again false it's go in else here is no condition it directly print the statement okay now let's run and check it's a very basic great programs it's check the marks ask the user enter your marks and whether it's check is the grade 1 a b plus c or c b plus b or c or either you are fail the condition is that if your marks between 85 to 100 then grade a if your mark is between 60 to 85 b plus it's between 40 to 60 b and if it is greater than 30 but less than 40 equal to okay then your score is c and it's less than 30 then it fail okay let's check first start with the 89 a grade why because greater than 85 and less than 100 b plus why because it's greater than 60 and less than 85 so this state condition is true and it's print b plus Okay, B. Why? Because it's greater than forty and it's less than sixty. So both condition is true and it's print your grade is B. Okay, run one more time. C grade. Why? Because marks is greater than thirty and less than forty. Both condition is true. It's go inside and print grade C. And let's run with very less marks. You are. Fail because none of this condition is match. It's go else and print. Sorry, you are fail. Okay, it is very simple. Okay, please keep in your mind when you are using end statement. That means all condition you mention must be true. All condition you mention must be true. Okay, here I share one more example to better understanding if and else. We ask user a three number. And find bigger number between A, B, and C. So how many possibility? How many possibility is there? Either A is bigger than these two, either B greater than these two, either C greater than these two. Okay. So we write the same condition here. Three possibility: A greater than B, and A greater than C. So that means above three numbers given, A is the largest number. Okay, if B greater than A and B greater than C, that means now B is greater than A and C. So now B is the largest number, and C greater than A and C greater than B. That means C is the greatest. And you can see here, here is no else. Why? Because in this program, nothing to perform in the else. We have to check like that which number is largest. Okay, so we have only condition, condition, and condition. Nothing I want to print in else. In this scenario, there is a no else statement. Okay, so else is not a mandatory. Else is just for like that. When your all conditions are false, and what you want to do in that case, at that time we we introduce else and we mention if all the condition is false, I want to do this. Okay, so now let's check. Let's enter a is a bigger number. Sorry, A is larger. What happened here? Okay, let's try with the middle value is bigger. That means B. B is largest number, and it's time to testing with the C number. C is the largest number. Okay, now let's move to the next one. Now it is a shortest hand hands-on practice with each statement. Okay, if are you comfortable with this if statement, you can go for this. This is the alternative method we can use that. And i is equal to ten. That means my i value is ten. Here is a condition. Okay, 
i means 10 less than 15 just i is less than 15 so let's check it i is less than 15 but now i value is greater than 15 no output okay because here we mention only the if condition in single line if colon and what you want okay if this condition is true what you want to do it's mentioned here okay so it is allowed in python you can try all these possibility and we in upcoming sessions when we are one learning loops and list and tuples at that time we use if else and if multiple times it is introduction of if else statement we use if else statement in multiple programs in our upcoming session keep practicing keep learning thank you